This article is titled Understanding the Intention to Treat Principle in Randomized Controlled Trials and was authored by Eric McCoy. Clinicians, institutions, and policymakers use results from randomized controlled trials to make decisions regarding therapeutic interventions for their patients and populations. Knowing the effect the intervention has on patients in clinical trials is critical for making both individual patient as well as population-based decisions. Excluding patients from the analysis who violated the research protocol, did not get their intended treatment, can have significant implications that impact the results in analysis of a study. Intention to treat analysis is a method for analyzing results in a prospective randomized study where all participants who are randomized are included in the statistical analysis and analyzed according to the group they were originally assigned, regardless of what treatment, if any, they received. This method preserves the benefits of randomization, which cannot be assumed when using other methods of analysis. If an intervention is truly effective, an intention-to-treat analysis will provide an unbiased estimate of the efficacy of the intervention at the level of adherence in the study. This article will review the intention-to-treat principle and its converse, per protocol analysis, and illustrate how using the wrong method of analysis can lead to a significantly biased assessment of the effectiveness of an intervention. We are article.td. Links in the description below.